and we beheld his glory full of grace and truth. Who's going to bow down every knee? Who's going to confess every tongue? Who's going to bow down every knee? Who's going to confess every tongue? Prophets of the past claim the Son of Man would come with their hands lifted up and their eyes open and, oh, sorry, and their eyes to the sky. They proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. People may ask why. Why do you live this way? But they know the truth. For he is the truth, despite is their lives. So what's the use? Here's on for the funky drummer. Keep the rhythms rolling in your face. I got the bass without a trace. He's going. He's gone and I'm on the microphone. And and I'm known to get rough. So take some time out of my rhyme bro and strut your stuff. Prophet swear for, I'll show you what's in store. Give praises to my king so now I can get an encore. And keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Hey, yo, what's happening brothers getting jacked? When you step up to me with that disrespect, I think it's time for us to put your evil butt in check. And if you don't believe me, tell me who is next. And somebody tell the devil that his match is met. From the word of God, so you know the truth. I tell you with power, chump, so what you gonna do? I'll make it known again that we're just spreading the good news and we'll have your crews saying your Jesus is one smooth who's gonna bow down every knee? Who's gonna bow down every knee? Who's gonna bow down every knee? Wherever God is highly exalted, him and giving him a name which is above every name and the feet of Jesus every knee shall bow of all things of heaven of things of earth the things under earth and at the name of Jesus every tongue shall confess that he is king under God the Father and that is from this album, it's uh, P.O.D.'s first album, it, it might be a bit towards for some, some viewers out there because I, I think this is like hard punk, but I mean, it's a really good CD, I mean if anyone's into, you know, punk and they buy the CD, I mean it says, are you suffering from emotional, spiritual, physical or social problems, and there's a picture of Jesus there, so I mean, I mean they are a Christian band, P.O.D. Now, another band what I'm about to mention, um, a Megadeth. Um, Megadeth are a band that have changed. Um, they, may not, they may not sing about Jesus Christ, but Dave Mustaine made a commitment. He is now a Christian. He doesn't want to tour with bands anymore. A few years ago, they were going to tour with a satanic band called Rotting Christ until Dave stepped in and made a statement on his website. Dave grew up with a Christian mother, but she became a Jehovah's Witness, and that messed Dave up. By the way, um, Dave is the lead singer of Megadeth. Um, he dabbled in the occult. And quite a few of Megadeth's past albums have parental guidance explicit lyrics um, on the cover, you know, the, the, the sticker, the uh, parental guidance sticker on the cover. But listen to the lyrics of one of their newest tracks on the new album called End Game. Attention, attention. All citizens are ordered to report to their district detention centres. 
do not return to your homes, do not contact anyone, do not use any secular or GPS devices, surrender all weapons at once, attention, this way to the camps, I walk up in a black femur box, darkness was all around me, in my coffin, my dreams are all nightmares anymore, and this is what I dream every night. The leader of the New World Order, the President of the United States, has declared anyone now residing inside of the US of A. Without the RFID chip, you're just an illegal alien, an enemy combinant of America. Welcome to the New World Order. This is the end of the road, this is the end of the line, this is the end of your life, this is the. A society in a society, inside the fence life as you know it stops. They got their rules of conduct and we got ours. Be quick or be dead, you crumble up and die, the clock is ticking so slowly, and so much can happen in, a, in an hour. This is the end of the road, this is the end of the line, this is the end of your life, this is the end. The ex-president signed a secret bill that can land a legal US citizen in jail and the Patriot Act stripped away our constitutional rights. They say a concentrational camp just popped up, yeah right. Refuse the chip, ha? Huh? Get persecuted and beat by the trinity of mind control. The mark of the beast, all rights removed. You're punished, captured and enslaved. Believe me when I say, this is the end game. Quite interesting, isn't it, that song? You know, it's about revelation and stuff and about the mark of the beast and how the world leader, obviously, they're writing that the world leader will come from America. Which... You know, nobody knows. Some people say it's America, some people say it's Rome. Nobody knows. So, I mean, Dave Mustaine, and I'm not, you know, I know he's a Christian lead singer, but obviously this is a heavy album, by the way. Some people might not like this even, but I'm just saying what, what God is doing through musicians, right? I believe he's reaching people. And I just pray in Jesus' name that many famous musicians will come to you, Lord Jesus. I pray, bring them in, bring them in, bring them in, Lord Jesus. Bring them into your kingdom. Thank you, Lord. Sweep the rock industry, Lord Jesus, I pray. Sweep the rap industry, Lord Jesus, the non-Christian stuff. I mean, have you actually heard the um, some non-Christian rap? It's just swear words. I know gangster rap. You know, gangster rap. That's really extreme. But um, and there's a lot, lot of people into rap. Christian rap's different. I mean, is I think there's only like Will Smith. No, I don't think he raps anymore. But um, him and maybe a few other rappers that don't swear in the songs so Jesus needs to reach rap music and other, other music as well I'll probably be continuing um, this another time talking about maybe others and that but just thought I'd share in this I'm Northern Hero see you next time